Now, back to our reg regularly scheduled program. Last time we were videoing, I was trying to get this running and instead I replaced the starter in a different car. Today, I have, I have a purpose. I want this to be ready to be a going to town rig. Now town is only about five minutes that way, so it doesn't have to be like the most reliable or, or dependable vehicle, but what it lacks in daily, it makes up for in cool points. It's a 66, which I think is great because it has these scoopy things, which uh, I just think are really cool, but it's been sitting under this tree for a little bit, for a little while, so I'd like to, give it a quick, you know, pressure wash. I mean, it's raining today, it's already damp. Let's just blast this off and make it look a little bit fresh, you know, get right, what clear coat we can off of it. I replaced this tire and then it went flat again. It's a different tire that's flat now, so that's lovely, but we can deal with that. But, 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 wait, there's more, because last time it wouldn't start because it didn't have any wires. One day last week when, uh, I wasn't re up to recording, I was in the mood to wiring. So I stabbed the distributor in, twisted it around a couple times, put some wires in there, and wouldn't you know it, this sucker starts up, or at least it did last week. So let's give it a cold start. It's been sitting for a week. Uh, I got a nice big hot battery in it. Let's see if we can get her to fire. Yeah, that's today. And then if we can get it to fire, we're gonna give her a wash down, put air in the tire, and tomorrow we're hitting a car show. I hope I can bring, hopefully we can bring this. If we can't, we'll take one of the regular dailies and just walk around and show you what's cool here in Clarksville. I'm working on sound. We'll have better sound real soon, but it's a lot of work. Okay, make sure our battery's hooked up. We're gonna run her off of this Mopar orange box. Came from Summit Racing, thanks Summit. There you go, she's a runner. And then let's wash her down. And uh, probably I should set the timing. I just, you know, got it so it starts, but I got no idea where it's set at. So probably should tweak the timing in. Might even, I don't even know if the distributor's bolted down. So I better double check my work from a couple weeks ago. I was angry and haphazard and I'm in a better mood and uh, things are working. So that's always a nice thing. I've got a little, uh, rinky dink electric pressure washer uh that was it's just gonna have to suffice for today it does okay it blasts the dirt away about a year sitting here under this tree it's time to roll her around and get some oil in the bearings so pull her over to her spot and we'll hose her down i thought you might like this that the factory sized exhaust for one of these six cylinders it's so small it's comical look how tiny it is it's like, it's like an inch. It's like one and three sixteenths or something. It's so little. And uh, I'm sure uh, if I wanted a little better performance, I could, you know, maybe put a two inch exhaust on this, but we'll get to that. First, let's give her a clean up. We've done almost nothing on the Valiant, but we uh, did, uh, make sure that construction has continued on the uh, shed addition, which is gonna be great. Oh my gosh, extra room is good. Uh, we have our machine running, and then I've done some work on the Dodge. I wasn't having a problem with the brakes, but I noticed that there was a sound coming from under the dash, like a hissing sound, and when you shut the engine off, it would hiss for a moment but um, there was a lot of rust on the booster, uh, which is usually a sign 
that the master cylinder is leaking fluid and then it's going into the booster and then that causes the diaphragm to blow out and then leak which is bad for the motor because it sucks in extra air. So we purchased and replaced said parts for uh, goodness. Uh, this truck uh, needs the taillights rewired and then it will be our truck for collecting firewood. Uh, we need to get that started because it's already getting into the warmer weather and it needs to sit up, um, which hopefully we will have, um, you know, a shed there that we can put wood in so that it's dry. Use the machine to bring the uh, rear di narrow rear differential out here so we didn't have to trip over it anymore. And we have done nothing with the baby blue car. The Bronco needs dragged out of there and I have a plan for how to try and diagnose why it is getting compression gases in the coolant. You know, a failed head gasket or cracked head, although I inspected the heads and there was no damage to the heads before I put them on, uh, so it may be a cracked block or a warped block. Uh, so anyways, that's there and nothing is happening with it. Total loss fire in our background there. I guess we'll go oversee it. The loss fire is doing a great job of keeping grass from growing in that one little spot where we don't want grass to grow. And it's also, um, it's doing nothing. It's just sitting there. We'll get to it. We got to take the front suspension off, uh, but brakes and stuff, but that's for that's a later, that's a later. You know, you can only do so much stuff at one in one go. This truck is gonna be parts. It's got axles and uh, it's got nice door cards and glass and, um, and uh, just, just various bits and bobs, nuts and bolts, things that we can scavenge off of it. Uh, let nothing go to waste if you can help it. Uh, the 360 engine is under a tarp until which time it can go into something. The uh, Nissan 300Z car is asleep. It awaits. But the garden has been tilled. There's even three rows of corn. You can faintly see the rows. There's three rows of corn planted up. We planted it... Uh, couple days ago so uh, yeah maybe we'll have some fresh corn sometime later in the summer so like lots of like we're all over the map but you know you got to be um, we're just trying to be a little bit uh, self-sufficient and get ourselves some fresh fruits and vegetables uh, and uh, you'll notice that the yard is not high and that is because every time he gets a chance uh, Buff Del Campo come out here with his tractor and mows it all down just real nice He's been keeping after it because he looks out for us our van the work van that I built a couple years ago It continues to put in work um, It's been uh, delivering lumber and uh, Takes me to town when I need to go and get parts and supplies and it's just ah, Just so good, you know like just so good like I it's like it don't do it in a pretty way but it, it does whatever I ask it to do it hauls junk it hauls cars it hauls tools it hauls supplies so Ford make a good van she says bad girl on the hood from the previous owner was a uh, punk band they inscrawled bad girl, but she's a good girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're a good van. She does everything we ask her to do. She gives us no trouble at all. This truck is, is kind of dumpy parts, but it had some really good tires on it. So the good tires from this, these tires came off the van. I got better tires that would ride nicer on the highway for the van. So the old wheels that came off the van went on this truck and the better wheels that came off of this truck are going to go on the green truck which is hidden down there and that little Dodge someday is going to get revivaled 
or maybe I'll use the five speed transmission out of it for the dart. That's a maybe, but we'll, we'll see. That's all the updates of all the stuff goings on. And now back to our project. Here she is, still soaking wet. Got her stuck in the mud a little bit. I gotta clean that up. But uh, yeah, I gave her a wash down. That's the 66 Dart. She's a four door, but uh, you know, I'm a humble person. And I think that uh, a lot of fun, very beautiful car design, even for a four door, needs some work. Paint is pretty rough, um, but uh, fun. Very fun, classic car. Look at just wonderful body lines. You know, the interior needs some work. Exterior needs some work. Engine needs a little work, but the engine's pretty much running. It just sits around too much. She's running though, starts and drives. Brakes, er, we're probably gonna have to do some brake work here real soon. Uh, too much sitting around. You know, they don't like to sit. But you know, I keep myself busy, putting all our time and energy into uh, getting this shed uh, together and uh, we've had some help because this is heavy work that we are unable to do alone uh, but we do have you know a little bitty part look 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 at rain a lot last night and there's one dry spot <laughs> but we're ready to put up some more roofing and that goes pretty quick it was really the framing they had to drill holes and put up these posts the framing took the most time and uh, we have materials coming and then Wham, this is going to go, we're going to have two uh, shed tractor bays uh, and that will get us out of the rain. Uh, we can put uh, the skid loader under, under roof and uh, who knows what other projects we'll get around to. But this winter we'll be able to get a lot more done uh, having some cover and uh, rainy days won't mess us up so much. We want to thank, as always, the American Hot Rod Association. Caution, this is a UFO recovery vehicle. Another day here at the Del Campo garage. It'll be an achievement just to get it off of the property again. The last time it's been driven was when I brought it up here from Murfreesboro when I bought it. And that was, it was a pretty long drive. So driving into town will be uh, an easy stretch. Um, it'll be good to get the wheels turning. You don't want all the air what will happen is it will slowly settle all to one side of the tire, you know, so you got to mix the air in the tires up. I might even rotate the air from this tire over to that tire, you know, so it gets some different flexibility. It likes that. Anyways, we got a running car. We got a sort of clean-esque running car. We got a good look over it and the paint is awful. It's an older restoration and the paint is... I mean thin. They put it on there with like dusted it on there, you know, just enough. You know, there's no paint on the roof for some reason. There's just enough primer to keep it from rusting up too much. Um, but it's good. They put paint on it. That's important. There's some body work in the back. It looks like someone must have got in an accident and they've replaced a quarter. I still think it's a beautiful car. The stainless needs polished up. Um, and we've got a lot of performance stuff to do to get it into, uh, you know, like fun. But we might even take this to No Name Nationals. Leave a, a, a comment in the description if you'd like us to bring this instead of the uh, Valiant. Although, maybe we'll bring both. We've got a trailer and, uh, or maybe we'll just drive side by side and see if we can get there faster. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the walk around the property so that you could see a little bit of what was going on. I made that quick for you. From somebody like big and famous and important, you might want to listen to them talk a lot. Me, not so much. And that's okay. But thanks for stopping. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.
it eat. You know, let it let it work. Don't let it dry. You're not supposed to be in direct sunlight, but it's sort of hazy today. So let's uh, give it that. See how it goes. 